OpenAI ChatGPT is making great changes in every sector of the industry. It has revolutionized the way we see artificial intelligence and NLP. But the problem is that most people just don't know how to use it. Since you are here, I already assume that you know what ChatGPT is. If you don't know what it is yet, then I highly recommend going through our channel for those videos. We at Edureka are highly impressed by OpenAI's effort at ChatGPT and we fully support their new API. But before we get started, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. You can also hit the bell icon to receive regular updates from here. Edureka also provides a course on ChatGPT that can make you a ChatGPT Pro. So go ahead and check that out. The first example that we are going to see over here is recipe suggestions. You can type something like, I have carrots, zucchini and broccoli. What can I prepare with them for a vegan dinner? And ChatGPT will instantly give you suggestions based on those items which are vegan. This is great when you are coming home from a long day of work and you just want to get creative in the kitchen. But before we go ahead to the second use case, let me just show you some of the limitations of ChatGPT. The first limitation is that ChatGPT may occasionally generate incorrect information. We have seen this previously in all kinds of chatbots and ChatGPT is no different. But OpenAI has done a great job at decreasing this. The second limitation is that ChatGPT may occasionally produce harmful instructions or biased content. So if you observe something like this being answered, it's best not to use them. The third and the biggest limitation is that ChatGPT has limited knowledge of world and events after 2021. You see, ChatGPT was developed on data which was available before 2021. So if you ask it something like, what is the time right now, it will start struggling. The second use case that we have is social skills. ChatGPT is especially great if you are an introvert and you struggle to make conversations with new people. I have typed, can you list some conversation starters? And ChatGPT instantly gets to it. It gives me some pointers on how I can start a conversation with someone new. The third use case that we have is coding. I know that most people already know that ChatGPT is used for coding a lot, but I had to include it even if it was overrated because ChatGPT is just so damn good at it. Over here, I have mentioned a prompt saying, write a Node.js backend code for a marketing company. And you can see that ChatGPT goes ahead and writes the entire backend code. Now this code might not be everything that you were looking for, but it at least provides you a template to begin with. The fourth use case is tutoring. ChatGPT makes an excellent tutor. And this is proven by the general public because they believe that ChatGPT is better than most university professors. To use ChatGPT like a tutor and get some really simple explanations, you can use the keyword explain like I'm five. And over here, I have asked ChatGPT to explain me the concept of time dilation. This is one of the toughest things to explain in physics and ChatGPT does a really good job at it. So the next time you are stuck on some really tough problem, know that ChatGPT is here for you. The fifth use case that we have is language translation. Yes, the ridiculously tough task of language translation has just become easier. Over here, I have typed how to say have a great day in French and you can see that ChatGPT has given me a translation for it. You can also use ChatGPT for product recommendations. Since ChatGPT has come across a large amount of language data, ChatGPT has managed to identify some trends. So the next time you go shopping, you can ask ChatGPT for some suggestions. Like here, I have typed, I'm looking to buy some trendy sneakers. Do you have any suggestions? ChatGPT eases through this. It instantly generates a list of really cool sneakers that I can buy. The next use case is an interesting one. ChatGPT can also be your career coach. ChatGPT can help you find the best job based on your skill set and your interests. To do this, you can try the following prompt. Could you help me find the right job? I'm good at creative and analytical tasks. Now ChatGPT takes this data and then suggests you some jobs that are really good for your skill set. You can see that it has suggested data analyst, marketing specialist, UX designer, etc. 
which heavily deals with analytics and creativity. Conversations with ChatGPT can also be extremely casual. You can get ChatGPT to tell you some jokes. For that, you can type, tell me a joke, and then you can see ChatGPT's reply over here. Sure, here's one for you. Why did the tomato turn red? Because it saw the salad dressing. I know this isn't one of the best jokes you might have heard, but it's enough to give you a chuckle. A lot of people have also used ChatGPT for mental health support. ChatGPT is extremely helpful when you are feeling sad and depressed and you want some pointers on how you can change your mood. To do this, you can just type out your feelings. For example, I'll type, I'm feeling sad and stressed. ChatGPT immediately recognizes what kind of query this is and it will give you some suggestions on how you can improve your mood. It tells you to exercise, connect with others, practice mindfulness among many other things. Okay guys, this is the last use case in this video. ChatGPT can help you with all sorts of entertainment. You can get ChatGPT to give you suggestions, pointers or even just play a game with you. For example, I have typed, I like mystery books, could you suggest a novel? And ChatGPT immediately gets to it. It gives me a list of amazing novels that I can read on my free time. And this isn't just limited to novels, you can also get suggestions on movies if you want. Like for example, I'll type, I loved Shawshank Redemption. Could you suggest another movie like that? And ChatGPT immediately recognized the movie and is providing me with some recommendations based on that genre, plot, etc. Isn't that cool? Anyway, that's it for this video on ChatGPT examples. Hope you found this video useful and if you know a better way to use ChatGPT, do let me know in the comments down below.